dealing with uncertainty. What? What? Let's let's first start. What is uncertainty? What? What? What even is it? So uncertainty is that feeling of not knowing. You know, not having solid ground underneath your feet, not knowing what's going to happen. And how do you deal with that? Some people. So me. What? What did I used to do? What did this used to look like for me? I would just completely shut down. So this was like become depersonalized, become numb, become completely detached from how I'm feeling. Just basically pretend that there isn't uncertainty. And in this kind of illusion that I would create for myself in my head, there was there was certainty because I was just pretending that uncertainty didn't exist. And then I didn't have to deal with it. And then I was uh, then there was certainty, and I could just I could handle that. But the thing is, this is kind of like bypassing. This is this is in a way it's a form of delusion. You know, it doesn't it doesn't help you. It's it's inauthentic and it's not aligned. It's not it's not truly aware. You're basically living in your own little bubble of your imagination, not actually in reality. We need to use uncertainty as a really powerful tool. It's a really really powerful tool when we know how to use it, and it's something everybody experiences. So we have to learn how to work with it. If you're not doing it consciously, it's going somewhere. If you don't know how you handle uncertainty consciously, it's happening somewhere. Either you're procrastinating or maybe you have like an addiction or addictive tendencies. Maybe you fall into a certain behavioral pattern that's really challenging for you. Maybe it just manifests as a chronic illness or like chronic anxiety or something like that. If you don't really know, if you don't have any conscious awareness around this, it still has to be somewhere. So I'm going to encourage you. The first thing that we can do is look for it. Where do you have uncertainty in your life? Look for it. Some people it's with their health. Some people it's with in certain relationships. Some people it's with money. You have uncertainty in your life. Everybody does. It's just a part of life. For you to be able to have certainty, you have to have uncertainty. It's part of this duality. It's part of the balance of this of this world. But what we do with uncertainty is really really important. So, for example, what inspired me to do this video? I tried to make a video yesterday. And I couldn't. I couldn't make myself do a video. And I was like, "This is weird. Why? Why? Why can't I make a video?" And then I got inspired. I, I I went on a little walk, and I thought, "Okay, the the video is like the cake at the end. You know, I'm like, I want the cake. I want the cake. How do I get the cake?" And instead of just looking at how do you make a cake, I was just focused on the cake. So instead, I shifted my focus. I was like, "How do I make a cake?" So what goes into me making a really good video is like, well, I need to take care of myself. I am the biggest part of my video. You know, it, the video is me talking to a camera. So how can I take better care of myself? How can I give myself the ingredients to make the cake? So you need, you know, how to make a cake, right? I don't know how to make a cake. I'm not. I don't do baking. That's way out of my comfort zone. But you need ingredients. You need eggs. You need flour. You need water. You need like bicarbonate of soda, probably, or something. You need salt. You need. You need things. You need ingredients. And if you want to get the outcome, you need to get the ingredients right. You know, if you try and make a cake and you miss one of the ingredients, you, the cake is going to be a, a fail. It's just not going to. It's not going to work, and you're going to know that, and you just won't do it. So, if, for example, the cake in my case is making a video, and I needed to, I, if in this case, I realized, okay, I'm focused on the video. I need to do something. I need to. I need to go for a walk. I haven't been for a walk today, so I went for a walk, and I was walking along, having a good time, like in nature, and all this inspiration is coming to me, like, oh, make a video about this. Make a video about this cake thing. All of this stuff, and it was like, "Wow, this is really cool." So, I was like, "Cool, I'm going to make a video about it." And then I didn't have time, but still, the idea was there. And then I sat down here today with my my camera in front of me like this. And I'm like, "Okay, I'm ready to record that cake video." I was like, it "Doesn't feel right. I don't don't I don't really want to do it." And then I felt this sense of uncertainty, like I don't really know what to do, and I feel like I'm in my process, and I feel like I don't know how to be creative right now, and I don't feel like I know what to do. And a lot of people, myself included, normally I would just shut down and just not do anything. Whereas instead, I was like, I can actually just talk about that. You know, this is kind of like in meditation. In meditation, it's not like your thoughts ever stop. You just become aware that you're experiencing those thoughts. So this was kind of like an active meditation. It was like, okay, I'm experiencing this uncertainty. I don't really know what to do. I don't really know where my inspiration is. I don't really know what action I'm supposed to take. And I just sat with that for a minute, and I was like, "Hmm, this is really interesting. It's really interesting to feel this." And I was like, "This is really interesting. I should talk about it. I should share this because if I'm going through this process and feeling this now, it's really relevant to other people. It's really relevant to what's happening in other people's lives." 
And sometimes you just don't know. And it's sitting in that not knowing that, actually, that you actually need to be able to do. A lot of the time we have this uncertainty. We have this, I don't know what to do. And we just try and run away from it. Like, I don't know what to do. So I'll try and do this and this and this and that. And I'll distract myself and I'll do this addiction and I'll go and play video games and I'll just eat, I'll binge eat food and I'll just do loads of little things. But they're not, they're not productive things. The only way you can find out the thing you actually need to do is to sit in that uncertainty and really stay with it. And it's really uncomfortable, especially when you first start doing it. Because the whole, the whole feeling of uncertainty makes you want to find certainty. The more you feel, the more you plunge into that uncertainty, kind of by the nature of polarity, the more you want to take an action, the more you want to do something. But you'll find that if you can just stay with that, and this can be related to a work decision, you know, maybe you've got two clients, you don't know who you want to work with, you're uncertain. Maybe you don't know where your next client's coming from, and that's uncertain. Maybe it's about health and you don't know which, don't, which direction you're supposed to go. Are you going to try vegan? Are you going to try carnivore? Are you going to do low FODMAP? Are you going to try GAPS? Are you going to take a B12 supplement, a folate supplement, a B1 supplement? Are you going to try this probiotic or that probiotic? Are you going to buy this course? Are you going to work with this practice? You don't know. There's just so many variables and you're just in this place where you feel really uncertain. The best thing you can do is just sit in it. And just sit in that uncertainty. And it's going to feel really uncomfortable. And look, you, you could probably even feel this like somatically, like physical sensations in your body. Like you can feel your body like cringing inside. Like you can, like it just feels uncomfortable. Kind of like, say you get embarrassed or say you, 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 you do something and you know everybody's looking at you. You can feel kind of like, ooh, that cringy discomfort feeling under your skin. Staying with that uncertainty is going to feel like that. But if you stay with it, it will begin to turn itself into certainty. And you'll actually, you'll actually find the thing you really need to do, not just the things that you're jumping around doing. Like I was sitting here, I wanna do the video, but I was uncertain. And instead of just sitting here with it, I was like, oh, I can fill out this form, and I can message this client, and I can do this little busy work task here, and I can do that. And it's like, really what I need to do is the video, but I don't know what to do. So instead I just sat here and I was like, okay, I feel really uncomfortable. And I just stayed with that. And literally that discomfort turned into what I wanted to talk about today. So it's like the thing that felt like the obstacle was actually the solution because now this is actually the video that I'm talking about. And this works really nicely as a metaphor, but you can apply this to all the other areas in your life. It works with health, wealth, relationships. It works with all of the subcategories of those things. You know, like I talked about with health, supplements, diet, practitioners. With money, it's like, what should you save? What should you spend? How, is, how are you going to make ends meet? What's the plan? What, how are things going? Instead of just frantically taking actions, just sit in that. Just sit in it and let, let it teach you. Let it, sh let it show you what you need to see. And most people don't do this because it's really uncomfortable. But if you want to be a, a really great person and you want to have all of your parts on board and you want to make really aligned and really calibrated decisions that actually aren't just about making yourself look busy and taking lots and lots of action that doesn't get you anywhere, kind of like running on a treadmill. Instead, we need to stop and like take ourselves off the treadmill and then do things that actually move us forward. And this is how you improve your health. This is how you improve your financial situation. This is how you have really good relationships. You have to be able to develop capacity to stay in uncertainty because that's where you're going to find what you really need to find. What you're really looking for, like certainty, is basically your comfort zone. The same things that you do over and over again, they're the things that keep you comfortable. They're the things that keep you safe. So you can think of certainty as really connected with safety. So we, we keep doing the things that we know work because they keep us alive. Even if they keep us miserable, even if they keep us sick and poor and in codependent relationships, they keep us alive and they keep us safe and they work. So to step out of this paradigm, step out of this mold that we've, that we've created for ourselves, it requires us to not only accept, but in a way kind of embrace the discomfort of feeling uncertainty. And you just start with what you can do. You know, you might just say, okay, I'm going to sit here for five seconds and then I'm going to go and do something just to distract myself from it. Fine. That's five seconds more than you normally would. And even if you sit in it for that five seconds, you'll be su surprised. You'll be amazed at what insights can come in such a short period of time. So this is what you need to do with discomfort. This is what you need to do with uncertainties. You need to, you need to stay with them. And they'll change by themselves, like everything. Everything is changing. Everything is fluid. Happiness changes into sadness, changes into anger. Just stop holding on to things 
and just let them flow. So stay with that uncertainty and it will change into something else and you'll be inspired, you'll be passionate, you'll be able to take action that actually changes your life in the way that you want it to instead of just doing things that keep you running on the treadmill that make you feel like you're really busy and you're not actually getting anywhere and you just your life feels awful and nothing changes. Stay in that discomfort of the uncertainty, let it teach you what you need to do and your life will change. It's amazing. I have to run. Hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.